everything that I have seen for the last decade has been conversational non-announcers. So they're all giving us they for for 10 years or more, they've been giving us this exact same direction and yet more. The spots more. from 10 or 15 years ago don't sound like the spots today. Like the read the, the conversational non-announcer read from 10 years ago is not the conversational non-announcer read from today. And I think that's maybe where some of us that have been in the industry a little bit longer, that's where we start to get confused because maybe 10 years ago, you found the conversational non-announcer sweet spot and you booked a lot of work and you made a lot of money and you found this groove that you got into, you did your thing. But now today, they're still giving you that exact same direction, but doing the same thing that you did that booked it all those years before, it's not it's not working anymore. And now you're like, well, then what the heck is conversational non-announcer? I agree. There were various efforts to take the word conversational and to, and to put all these synonyms on it, right? Where it became, there was conversational. And then for a while it was called, um, we don't want it to sound like a voiceover. Then it right. became, we want it to sound real. Then it became, we want it to sound genuine. Then it Authentic, became, genuine, we yeah. want it to sound like uh, just a person off the street. All of those things. And I think that was part of the drift away from what you just said very correctly, that conversational 10 years ago would now almost be considered like an, an, an announcer. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, that now they're telling you it that does. it's an announcer. Right. I agree. 